Good morning, dear children. Welcome back again to this session. Where in this module we are going to discuss the rest of the topics in the lesson geography, mineral, and power resources. In my previous module, we have discussed about the distribution of the mineral resources over the earth's surface. And I told you that all these mineral resources are not evenly distributed over the earth's surface. And these are the different types of mineral resources we have discussed. The next one is about the tin. You would have heard about the tin. So children, what is the use of this tin? It is mostly used in planting. That is, coating thin steel sheets with a very fine layer of tin. And this is used in making the cans for preserving the food. You know that, not to get spoiled, we used to preserve the food in the cans. There also we can see the coating of the tin upon that. And it is also used in soldering and in making alloys like bronze. So various alloys like bronze are also made out of this tin. And you know which is the leading country of this production of the tin? Malaysia. Malaysia is the leading producer of the tin. There are various other minerals which are mined in different countries of the world. So this is about the tin and its various purposes. And mineral resources of the India. What about its supply of the mineral resources of the India? We know that all these mineral resources are the free gift of the nature. And all these are richly endowed in our country. And this is the main strong base for our industry also. And the distribution I told you, it is not evenly distributed and it is yes we can see its distribution of the resources are uneven in different states and different countries also so what we have to do for that we have to yes we have to conserve such minerals so, for our future purposes or uses also, we have to conserve this minerals. Even all these mineral resources are abundant in supply. What we have to do? We have to preserve such minerals. The increasing world population and the demands of more and more people to have higher standards of living have resulted in the increased use of the mineral resources. So children, we know that due to the alarming growth rate of the population, the entire mineral resources have been consumed by this increased population. To maintain the higher standards of living, they utilize all these mineral resources for their purposes. And minerals are non-renewable. Once consumed, they are completely exhausted and cannot be regenerated soon. So children, some minerals are non-renewable. Almost all the minerals are non-renewable as well as if it is consumed, they are completely exhausted and cannot be regenerated soon. And for that, we have to take what? Yes, more precautionary measures for preserving all these resources. 
Next, we'll discuss about the different ways in which minerals can be conserved. Which are the different ways in which minerals can be conserved are? The first one is recycling. Many metals like iron, gold, silver and aluminium once discarded can be reused by recycling. So children, if we use all these metals, after our uses, we use to discard such metals. So the first way in which we can preserve all these metallic minerals are by recycling. We can recycle all these resources and we can use it for our or save it for our future purposes. The second way to conserve the resources is avoiding the wastage. Efficient methods of mining and smelting can avoid wastage of minerals. While using them also we should take care not to waste. So children we know that at the time of production of various equipments or machines, isn't it? Is through the process of mining I told you as well as through the smelting process also. We have to waste some minerals or unknowingly it will be get wasted. So if we take care of such wastages, we can conserve that resources. The next one is the substitutes. The alternative to minerals like biodegradable plastic, wood and other substitutes should be more widely used. So children, for these minerals, some other alternatives are there. Which are there? So biodegradable plastics as well as wood and other substitutes also Yes, we can widely, if we can widely use all such things, also we can conserve more and more resources for our country. So children, these are the different ways through which we can conserve our resources and save our future generations. So children, I hope this session related to the conserving the resources as well as the distribution of the resources is precise for you. So thank you children for watching this video.